is there a sense of I gotta try to not be too excited? Uh, no. Uh, kind of had that feeling last year, uh, but just watching the games and already being there and seeing the things that you know, seeing things that take place, it, it makes me feel already comfortable. I know what I'm going into. There won't be any surprises. Um, I went to Italy and got three games out the way, got those jitters out the way. Um, my first game, I didn't even get to finish it. I was cramping up, and I think my adrenaline was so crazy that I really couldn't finish the game. I was throwing up afterwards, so uh, I got all that out the way. Um, we played Mizzou this weekend, and uh, we have the exhibition, so I think there's enough, there's enough, there's enough warm-up games to go around. Talks about Italy, people that we talked to before said it really helps that chemistry. Did you feel that? Did you felt since then that there's more chemistry with this team? Yeah, I definitely do. Uh, we we went to three or four different cities, and we had a different roommate in each place we went. Um, we had one game the first day and then not again to the last two days. So we had days where we had just 12 free hours to walk around with each other and uh, we got to definitely hang out with different people than we've already been with uh, prior to going down there and I think that's what we needed. Um, and then during the time like fall break where we don't have classes, we get to go to the movies as a team and have every dinner and lunch as a team. So um, we get to be around each other and we get to work out together and uh, it just makes us closer as a unit. You got to watch, obviously, last year and saw everything that went on. When you were watching, was there, was there something that you were like, oh, man, I wish I could get out there. I can do this. I can help this happen. Oh, yeah, and it was and it was usually towards the end of the games when we were, we had the lead in the last minute and we were losing it. And now I'm like, if I was out there, that wouldn't be happening, you know. And, uh, I think we won't even be close to those type of games this year. But if we do, if we do have those close games, you know, I think we'll be more equipped to handle it. A lot of close losses, obviously, last year. Now, Butler, the year before, had a similar situation. They had a much better year. Is that something you think we're so close last year that the new additions were clearly going to take that step? Oh, I definitely think that. Uh, I think we have more talent on this team. And we have a unit who cares more about basketball and more about the outcome of the games. Uh, I, now, I really see how a bad practice affects guys. So I can only imagine what a bad loss will do. Um, besides make us hungrier, um, of course. But I think that we're definitely ready to take that next step. Um, you know, it's going to take a couple of games, obviously, to mature. We've got to get some guys some experience. We have a lot of freshmen that we're going to be counting on this year. And I try to tell them to just be calm, be cool, be ready. It's just another game. Uh, but in the day, you don't know. Uh, been out in front of them fans is a whole other thing than being in front of practice with Coach Matt. So um, I think we're all just excited to see what's going to happen on November 6th when we have our first game. Is it maybe a little easier being out in front of fans than having just the coaches? Oh, way easier, way easier. You get to play and uh, you don't have to worry about Coach Matt getting on you for everything. Uh, but um, I definitely think that having Coach Matt there makes you more, makes you more open to to new things because he's going to correct you about a lot of stuff that you might not like to be corrected about. And you'll see in the games where you have those opportunities that he was right and you can't fight with him. And then he's like, the it's Coach Mac, you know what I'm saying? So we have a lot of those times, but uh, I think we're all listening and we're all ready to, to just make this step to turn this program around again. Everyone we've talked to so far has really talked about this team being more athletic. And is that something that when you look at this team that you really notice is the athleticism has jumped up? Uh, I noticed that, and I definitely think the, the main reason for that being the biggest thing is that last year when our shots weren't falling, we had nothing else to go to. Uh, we struggled. Um, but when our shots aren't falling now, we have we can throw it inside the big Jeff. We can hit task cutting. We can have, you know, Justin, you know, I can drive now. We have uh, Ronnie who can drive and pass. So we have a lot of people who can get into the paint now. Um, even Toby is not shooting only threes now. You know, every guy is becoming way more versatile, and it makes us tougher to guard. So if our shots aren't falling, then let's just beat you another way. And when they are, then that's just another way that you're going to lose by. That versatility you talked about, people being able to do more than one thing, is that something that on the court is going to make it that much tougher than because you can do so many different things? Uh, yeah, it will, because it'll make the scouting report for other teams much tougher. You can't just lock in on one guy, or you can't lock in on one guy's ability at that. Uh, a lot of guys can switch up and make adjustments to how they're guarded. Um, I've been preaching scouting report to my guys all the time to just switch their games up and not be so one-dimensional for this, you know, uh, for this reason. Uh, so the more guys get in the gym, change their games, uh, are, are able to adjust to, when they make two or three shots, can they still be effective? when the defense focuses on them. Um, and I think that because guys can do that, it'll make us tough for the guard as a team. A lot of new faces, people, some of the fans 
find out some of you have been here a while, but they just haven't seen you play. So, what can the fans expect? What does this team want to look like out of the uh, You can expect a lot more excitement, um, a lot more threes, uh, a lot more dunks, uh, some alley oops, some lobs, um, just a lot more of a different type of game. You know, we're, we're a team who can, like, we're not just a typical swing and cut type of team or set down screens and bad screens in the shots. A lot of our guys shoot off the dribble, off ball screens, can do different moves. So it'll be more fascinating uh, ways that we score. Um, and it'll be more entertaining for the fans. Saw that you were picked ninth and you weren't too happy about that. And when you look at something like that, it's it's just extra motivation, just a little, just add it on to the pilot. It's just another chip that you have on your shoulder. Uh, you know, no matter how good you do, there's always, you know, someone telling you, you that you can't do better. Uh, I'm sure if we were number one, we would be having God doubt us or ready to knock us down. And it can come from both sides and both angles. Um, but I definitely think that taking the underdog, the underdog route is the, is the best way because people see you in a lose-lose anyway or a, or a lose-win or a win-win, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if they lose, oh well, they weren't supposed to win. And if they win, it's a big deal. Um, and I don't want it to be that way. I want people to expect us to compete and to be in every game and to have a chance to win every game and to not give us that respect per how much work we're putting in. I don't, I, I just can't take lightly to that. Thanks a lot. Thank you.